Several days ago, I had a conversation with animal communicator Sonia Fitzpatrick. Animal communicators operate differently than animal behaviorists. Animal behaviorists observe the behavior of an animal and gather information about the animal based on its behaviors. By adjusting the animal's environment, they can affect the animal's behavior. Animal communicators exchange information between themselves and an animal through a language of thoughts, feelings, and images. An animal communicator can provide insights and information that a behaviorist does not have access to. The information that I wanted to obtain was not something that an animal behaviorist could provide. Therefore, I enlisted the help of an animal communicator. I chose Sonia Fitzpatrick because I've read several of her books. I used to watch her TV show on Animal Planet. I used to listen to her radio show on Sirius XM Radio. And I also have family members who are on her TV show. So I know how reliable and accurate she actually is. That being said, I had a whole list of questions for the cats and a whole bunch of information that I wanted to get from them. And I thought I would share their answers with you here in this video. So here are the questions and answers that I had for the cats as relayed back to me through animal communicator Sonia Fitzpatrick. Why is Splash so afraid of me? Yeah, he says he doesn't know why he's like it, so I'm going to tell him. Let me tell him. I'll tell him that they all have a network of nerves under the skin, and some are more to the surface, and the cats that have their nerves more to the surface and not embedded so deep in, they feel things that the other cats don't. And he is he says he hides a lot. So I tell him, I understand, Splash, and I'm sorry you feel this, I'll tell him. And I'm going to also tell him, darling, that there's, I know lots of other kitties that are just like him. And, and I'll tell him it's, it, he's not the only one, because he said all the other kitties that live with him aren't like that. He said, they're all more confident than me. I'm always hiding and always running away. <coughs> and I don't like noises. I'll tell him I understand. What can I do to make Splash less afraid? And do you know what might help him if he'd wear it? Okay. They're doing thunder shirts for cats now. And you put them on them. And what I do is I put it on the floor for a while. Just leave it lying around and put catnip on it until he gets really used to it. And then gradually try it because it would make such a difference to him. It would make a big difference. Not a little difference. It would make a big difference. And he just feels so sort of separate at times. So I tell him, I know, we understand how you feel. Very special in his own way. He has to let me near him. Let me tell him that. When does he go under something? Is it the bed he goes under? <clears throat> yeah, it makes him feel safe and he doesn't feel the vibration so much when he's under something because we've got, you know, our electricity going with the cooker and the, the microwave and all those things. And he feels static from all of that. Okay. He said he's a better at night time. So I he is. I understand. He is much that's better. because everything is switched off at night, you see. I tell him everything is switched off at night. And I'll tell him, and that's why. And I'll tell him, you know, it's okay, but, you know, it's nothing's going to really hurt him. And I know that he feels uncomfortable. And I'm going to tell him, he said, sometimes you talk to him, though. You talk to him face to face, even if you t you t he's scared of you touching him. So always move really slow around him and lie at his level. Okay. Like if you can get down on the floor. Okay. Lie at his level and talk to him. And um, that will make him feel better. He feels a bit threatened if you lean over him. And I'll tell him, you know, I understand. He knows you're not going to hurt him. He knows that. Okay. But he just, that's just that, you know, what he feels. He, he, he really does. They suffer a lot, cats like this. Yeah. And I'll tell him, you know, he's special. And I, I understand what he's telling me. And now Mummy understands. Why he says he loves you. And he says you talked to him. And he said you saved him. Why does Splash walk around crying at night? He feels a bit on his own, he said. He, I always feel like he's looking for Stella, his mother. Yeah, he is. Oh, it's Boo, he said. You talk to me. You're supposed to be talking to me, Boo goes. Go ahead. I'll tell Boo, I'm really sorry, Boo. I will be talking to you, and thank you for telling me that. And Boo says, I'm very important here, he says. He says, in fact, I'm the most important one, he said. Yeah, he says, I'm the most important one, he says, and my mum comes out and talks to me. Does Boo want to live inside with the rest of the cats? Let me ask him. He says he's been, he 
knows you're thinking about it, he says. I've never been inside. I tell him whether you're welcome to go in. And would I be able to come in and out? I tell him he's really safe if he comes in the house because as he knows, there's lots of things out there that aren't very nice. And he knows that. I tell him, you know, it'd be really safe if he came in and stayed in. Is Boo the father of Simba and Splash? He said, they love me. He said, they love me. Who hisses? Who hisses? Who's the cat that hisses a bit? Stella hissed at Boo. Oh, because he said there's a cat that hisses. Yeah, Stella's the mom, and we think Boo is the dad, so can he tell I you that? I think you're right, too. And Stella says, I don't want any more. I've had enough, she says. I've, I've had enough of those. I'm not having any more, she goes. Did Stella have more than two kittens, or only Splash and Simba? More before. Yeah, one died. She said some of them died. It was very sad. Made me sad. That's so what I'm we say, thought. Stella, I understand, but one day you'll meet up with them in the same energy. I tell her she she won't or it won't always be like that, and she'll meet them, and they'll be all the same. So she's got that to look forward to. Do the inside cats want Boo to come inside? Well, no, they said they miss him. Oh, they do. Yeah, they said we miss him, but he's a bit rude sometimes. Sometimes he is. They said, but we do miss him. Okay. He likes being inside. They said. Two months ago, Boo showed up with big patches of fur scraped off of his face. How did that happen? said he got into a fight. He said there was a dog that wasn't very nice. So oh. I tell him, you know, that is why you need to be in all the time. Can you tell Boo not to scratch me? You know, darling, let me tell him that it hurts you. He doesn't realize that. And just tap him on the nose when he does it. Just tap him and tell him, you know, and put his claw, put his, take his paw away from you. I tell him he does, that hurts you. He says, and, and I tell him, but you know, humans, it can hurt them because if you scratch them, it can hurt them a lot. I tell him, you know, he needs to have his nails cut. Why does Stella cry when I pick her up? Oh, darling, it's a bit uncomfortable for her. It's a bit uncomfortable for her. She doesn't like being picked up. Some cats are very sensitive when you pick them up, as you know. Yeah. And others are fine with it. So she says, I'm sorry. I tell her, it's okay. Mum understands. Is Hydrox related to any of the cats? And Hydrox likes his name. He doesn't know, he said. Okay. He said, I know them, but I don't know what does... I'll tell him what related means, if they're all born together. Yes, I think he is, darling. He said he was a kitten one time, and he had a, he had a mum and a dad. So I tell him, yeah, okay. And, and his, dad, his dad was black, he said. I remember them, he said, but I don't see them now. Can you please tell Boo not to fight with Hydrox? Oh, that's an hard one. Because that's that's like people, you know, yeah. sometimes they fight. But I mean, I'll try. It's Boo that fights with him, do you say? Says he always starts it. Boo says he always, yeah. I always start it. I tell him, well, you know, smart cats don't do that. Only stupid cats. <laughs> and I wouldn't have thought you were stupid, Boo. But when you do that, it's very stupid. Oh, he goes, oh. I tell him smart cats and mum really needs your help in looking after Hydrox. And looking after Hydrox is being nice to him, like mummy is to all of you. Oh, he says, I'll think about that. <laughs> he says, I'm, I'm a good fighter. I tell him, well, it's a good idea not to be good at that. I tell him smart cats like each other and help each other, just like mummy helps all of them. And he'd be just like his mummy if he did that. Oh, he says, I'm thinking about that. I've always done it. I tell him, I know all you have to do is change your mind about that. Yes, I'll think about it, he says. I quite like Splash, he says. When Splash was a kitten and living outside, there were times I would hear him screaming. Why was he screaming? He said, I jump on him. He said he jumped on him once. Now, I tell him, well, that isn't a good thing to do. He said he won't play. I tell him, well, he's very nervous. He's just different to you. You're all so different, Boo. Just like people are. And if you could be nice to him and not do that, that would help Mummy a lot. I think about it, he says. I don't know if I can do it. I tell him, of course he can. He can do anything. And smart cats do not jump on other ones. And Mummy needs your help in looking after him. Oh, he says. So I says, I tell him, you just don't have to go up to him. Just leave him alone. If you just leave him alone and let him do his thing and you do yours, that's the best way. 
Oh, I think about it, he goes, I think about it. <laughs> he's hilarious. He's a character, isn't he, Boo? He's so cute. He says, my, I'm a mum's favourite cat. Well, mum loves you all as much, but sometimes, you know, you, you can have a favourite one, but she still loves all the others. Right, I'm a favourite, he said. Yeah, he would say that. He's funny. Does Simba like to wear hats? No. Oh, he does. He said, and I love doing that, and everybody thinks I'm so cute. And I'm everybody else's favourite cat, he goes. I tell him, well, you are. You're very beautiful, Simba. And how nice of you to do that. Yes, he said, I love it. I'll do anything like that, he says. He will. I'm the only one you know. I'm special in my way, and my mum knows that. I love it, he said. She just loves cats, my mum. (laughs) 